So you have your notes of your heart. Now, mm, yeah, let me let me temporarily mute you guys first <laughs> because uh this will be a recorded and yeah, it's gonna in your TTC YouTube. Okay. So here, right? Uh today our class is only one and a half hour. No, yes. <laughs> Yes, so I'm gonna mute yourself. I mean, yeah, you, you try to better mute yourself. Wait, huh? what's some guy? Hey, don't cheat, don't chat with your friend, chat with me. Okay, so come back here. Um, today, okay, I wish to cover, I wish to cover uh, some chapter one, two, uh, fav I mean, the common question that will come out in the exam. All right, so uh, let's begin with it. <laughs> Come. Uh you uh can everyone can hear me? Anyone can can cannot? With uh, your friends. If can you can hear right the rest? Give me some reaction if you can help. Okay. Yeah. If cannot, then you need to rejoin. Okay. Maybe you left the section and rejoin. Okay. Okay. So yeah, let's quick and go through. Okay. So in your notes, in your notes, uh, there's a short notes for chapter one to chapter from chapter one to chapter five short notes, okay? And I gave you some chapter-based questions and come with a Gattas model, which is a model paper at the end of the sets of notes, okay? Can I? Now, uh, because that one is a Gattas model, so just to let you know, okay, your question seven and question six, which is from the last, uh, is, is, is chapter six and seven, which is you haven't learned yet, right? Now, very quick, very quick and like, just quick revise what you have learned in chapter one, two, three, four. Chapter one, you learn about ARA directions, okay? Can I, direction, what is direction? Direction means, okay, um, a, a things to show you that where is it, okay? Hala tujo sasuatu tempat, a direction from a place to another place, right? So in this chapter, there's a two very important things and always ask, okay, in your first term exam, right? Now, the first thing, of course, the ara. We have how many ara? We have two types of ara. Okay? We have lapan ara, it direction, and it's split into two types. The main one, utama, and the per antara on the side, right? The main direction, we have what? We have utara, timo, selatan, dan barat. Just in case you forgot everything, Utara means what? Utara means the north. Okay? Right? Timo, the east. Kenya. And then Selatan. Selatan is the south. Right? Followed by the west. This is the main direction. The main directions. Okay? The main one. Ah. Now, then how about Perantaraan? Perantaraan is what? The side in the middle, in between. So in between Utara and Timo, we have what? Timo Lawot. Okay, northeast. Okay, northeast directions. Timo and Selatan, Tenggara, north, south. Sorry, it's north, south, like southeast. All right. Now, Selatan and Barat, leh, in between, okay, we call it southwest. And followed by southeast. Uh, as a sub block, northwest. Now, this direction, right? Normally, how they ask you question, like I mean, how question gonna ask you? Now, for first term, normally your teacher will be very kind to you in this. They will give you a questions with like this, and let me show you, huh? They will give you a questions will look like this, right? This is a type like more exam type your question too. So they might ask you. Uh, nama kan, let's say, uh, let's try it out, okay? They say, nama kan ara mata angin utama. What is utama? Utama, which means the main 
direction. And we have how many? We have four main direction. Yes. All right. Four main direction. Um, it's, it's okay for you to answer me one. Huh? If you shy, shy, you scared everybody saw your message, then you just direct message me, okay? Can yeah, I? Nah. Okay. Don't shy. Just direct message me. Okay. Don't worry. I won't read your name out, right? You are wrong or you are correct. I will just say it verbally, but I won't read your name out. So just feel free to try out the answers. Now, see, uh, if they give you a pictures will look like this. Now, then how are you going to know which one is the main directions? So you can see, uh, normally, if they give you a compass, and you can see this is a jar room with what? With a special colors, right? Means what? This is the first. This is the normal that we can see. Yes, the shadow point. Yeah. What is this? Now, when you see the shadow point, normally they are what? The first direction, which is Utara. Okay? Same one. Uh, this Right. Other than this, they might give you a compass and then maybe they point to you like that and then they shaded one of it. The one that they shaded, the direction is always Utara, the north. Right. And even sometimes they might give you something like this. When you see the arrow, means this is a direction for Utara, the north. Got it? Can I? So remember, your direction is always follow. We will actually read it as clockwise. And we will read it as clockwise. That's why, let me show you. Huh? That's why you are always, always is what? North, east, south, west. North, east, south, west. They are always like that in these directions. Okay? God, they are always in this sequence. Right? Why I mentioned this sequence with you, right? So that you know, okay, Q come with what? East law. East is what? Bimo. Follow by Selatan. Okay. Follow by Barat. Okay. Now, this is when what? They say name gan, nama gan. Now, how about the next one? Next one, right? They say what? Senarai gan. Why senarai gan? Least. They ask you to list me. Empat mata angin perantaraan. Okay? Perantaraan is what? In between. Now, is this need to follow sequence? No. They didn't say you must follow sequence because they only ask you to list them. All right? So, let's try it out a little bit. Right? If you cannot... If I'm too fast, please let me know. Huh? Now, utara and Timo in between, okay, which is this direction. We call it what? We call it Timo Laut. Okay, Timo Laut. All right. How about Timo and Selatan in between? We call it Tenggara Southeast. All right. Now, followed by what? Barat, okay, Barat, Barat what? Barat Daya and Barat Laut. Okay, this is the first type of question they might ask, okay, in the exam, right? Now, of course, if your school teachers, uh, they are not, okay, most of the time for your first term or small test, they don't give you a full format. If they didn't give you a full format, right, there will be higher chance. There will be higher chance that they give you something like this. They give you a pictures. They ask you to fill in the blanks. Uh, fill in to me what direction are they and what is the bearing suit of that. Okay. Can understand? Can I? No. So let's try it out. Huh? Let's go back to question one. Now, question one, right, they're very kind to you. But, but this is also a place where a lot of people, they do careless mistake. Be careful. Very, very be careful. When they give you a compass. Why? Look at their needle, where they point. You see, in this, you see that some words on the, there is some words on what? On the compass. And you see like here, there's a shadow, so the, the darker one. 
right? And they point to you, you means what? Means this is my utara. So this is my utara. Can I? Now, so uh, this question, they're very kind to you. Like, they're scared that you don't know what it is in the Basel Malayu. So they tell you, masjid. Number two is masjid, right? Masjid is in what direction? Utara. Okay, can I? Now, this is the some tricks that where normally they will tricks you here. Okay, can I? Now, so if masjid is utara, can I know sekolah? Where is sekolah? Sekolah should be what directions? Yes, good. Barat laut. Great, great, great. Um, now, how about Pasat Raya? Follow the sequence, right? Utara already, the next one should be what? Yes, good. Timo Laut. All right, and then next one, Timo ah, yes. Follow by Champatan, the bridge. The bridge is what? Timo, and then after that is what? Teng. Gara. Okay. I found that y'all like to forgot about Tenggara, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tenggara. And then follow by what? Follow by Selatan. Yes. Now, and one more thing, ah. Uh, very be careful about your spelling for Selatan because I saw a lot of people spelling it, spell it as Selatan. Selatan, uh, L-A-T-A-N. Okay. How about Taman Permainan Playground? Playground is? Yes. Barat Daya. Tasik leh. Tasik is the last. Tasik should be Barat. Yes. So, is it for this? So, if exam come out this, can you answer? For this, this part. Can I? Just to let you know, okay? So, now, okay, can I? Perhaps, okay. Now, so I show you two types of like way they come out when they ask you about uh, this one, right? Can I show you the third one? Third way of asking you the questions? Now, the third way of how questions are going to come out is you're going to flip to the last, to your Kertas model. So in the real, in the like if your teacher giving you a Kertas model, which means like format based, so then you will see a very big butter like this. Okay, it's page 27, yeah. Page 27, there you will see these pictures. Normally, in a formal exam, they will give you a butter would look like this. And then they will ask you a related questions. Like you see, A, they say. Sungai Kinta dalam perta mengalir dari timur ke arah apa? So they might also ask you question like, okay, um, berikan arah pedi, alright, or berikan arah kampung A, kampung B, C, D, E, F, G, alright? Can understand? This is also one of the way of asking you question. Come on, be careful here. Right, when if they really give you a butter, a pictures, a map, look at what look at this one. Very important. Ara mata angin. Why? Because you see, this one they, they they draw like this, right? Upright means what? Means this is my butter. Here is Utara. Here is Timo Selatan Barat. All right. Now, if they don't ask you to look overall, okay, I mean, they don't look at the overall of the butter, then you're going to look like this. Let's say I give you an example. Ah. Example, um, they said, Ara Kampong Halia Dari Kampong Meru. Let's say, ah, let's say, ah, Kampong Halia Dari Kampong Meru. I want the direction of Kampong Halia from Kampong Meru. Okay, can I? So, oh. Where are we? We are in Kampong Meru. So we need to draw a 
Aramata Angin, like that. Because they show you it's up one. Ma. Then you ask yourself, now what direction is Halia? This is how you found your answer. So Kampong Halia is in which direction? If this, is, this is just one example only. Huh? So I'm going to write it at the side, just in case you, 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 yeah, you forgot. Yes, great. Tenggara, correct. Now, uh, what, what was my question again? Sorry. Oh, kam, ara kampong hara. Ara kampong halia. Dari kampong meru. So, my answer is tenggara. Okay. This is also one, one of the example. How questions gonna ask you. Is that okay? This is the third example already, lo. Can understand? Okay with the three type of question asking, like how they ask. Can. Can can can. It give me some reaction, uh, Yeah yeah. Okay. Hey, don't worry. I don't scared. Uh. <laughs> yes, the video is going to put into the TTC YouTube, but your chat won't. Your chat will still remain. Okay, no, no, maybe not with me. <laughs> but the chat won't go up, okay? The chat won't go up. Uh. Don't worry. Huh? Hi, yeah. Yeah, no. The chat won't go up. The chat will, will stay with me. <laughs> Don't worry. Just uh, answer me. No worry, okay? Don't shy shy, ma. Right? So come back here. Gonna move on. Uh? So, yeah, let's try this question just now since we asked, right? They say, Sungai Kinta. If exam really come up this type of question, how gonna answer? They say Sungai Kinta. Okay, let's look where is Sungai Kinta. Uh, actually, that's hundred and one inside only, right? So this is your Sungai Kinta, right? Can I? And they say Mengaliu dari arah Timo from Timo to which direction? So they tell you the river begin from the Timo, which is here. They flow to which directions? Of course, they flow in here. So what direction it is? If you tell me Aramata Angin is like this. So what direction it is? This is what directions? Hmm. Barataya. Yes. 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 Great. Okay. Barataya. Can? Okay, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Barat Daya. This is the first way of how they ask you. Can I? Uh, this is all the ara how they ask you already. Uh. Then the second very important thing in your in your okay. In your chapter one is what? Bearing Sudutan. Okay, so what is bearing Sudutan? Bearing Sudutan means I'm using a group of number. Okay. Uh, numbers. I'm using a number to tell you where am I now. Okay, I'm not using Timo or Timo Lao to tell you where am I. I'm using a numbers. All right, why? It will be more detailed. All right, so let's get back to the notes for a while. Yeah. Yes, uh, um, I cannot say it's coordinate. Uh, it's part but not 100%. All right, let me show you how huh? you can see. What is bearing Sututan? Bearing sututan means I'm determine my direction using a numbers, angles, yes. Using angles to tell you my directions, right? So how I get my bearing sututan? First of all, I need to have tite rujukan. I need to have a reference point. Uh, what do you mean reference point? Example, I tell you. Okay, I want to know bearing sudutan of um, B, right? Okay, bearing sudutan B dari A. Oh, I want the bearing sudutan, sudutan of B from A. Then A will be the tite rujukan, the reference point. Right? How I get it? I will use angle, nilai sudut. 
I will tell you the answer will be what? Zero degree, one degree, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all the way until 360. Where is exact, uh, where is the plane exactly, right? Now, of course, am I gonna just like, you know, measure like using my eyes? No, I need some alert. I need some things to help me, right? What is the thing? What is the thing to help you to measure? Protractor. Do you have protractor with you? This is very important, huh? I mean, do you have protractor? Yes, huh? Exam, please remember to bring her. Huh? Okay, not only for first term, huh? for your whole form one geography exam, bring your protractor because they might come out to ask you to measure bearing pseudo that. Okay, so come. What if you forgot? Then you're gonna, if they come out in multiple choice, it's still okay. You have A, B, C, D to choose, right? But if they come out in structure, then God bless you. God will bless you, okay? Well, and I can't say anything, but yeah, please remember, just put it into your pencil case all the time, lah, right? To prevent that you forgot, all right? Yeah, then, then you will lose your marks, all right? Now, here, come back here. See, ah, when we measure, when we measure, ah, when we measure, you're going to always begin from Utara. So Utara will be zero degree. You will always measure clockwise. Clockwise. Ara pusingan jump. So means what? You begin with Utara, you end with Utara. So if exactly at the Ara of Utara, you will get zero degree or 360 degree. Okay, got it? Now, let me get a virtual protractor for you, okay? For you to see, okay? So this is my black magics for this. Okay, can see my protractor, right? So how are we gonna use this protractor? Can I? This is the protractor, ah. So you're going to put your projector on top of the line. See, it's perfectly, oops, sorry. It's perfectly, remember, met with whatever line that you're drawing. Huh? Put exactly on top of the cross there. Right? Put on top of the cross there. Understand? Right? And then you will start to measure. I'm going to put aside first. Can I? You're going to measure. Now, of course, something, sometimes you no need to measure for certain direction. Example, Timo, the east. The east is exactly 90 degree. All right? Same goes with your salatan. 90 degree plus 90 degree. There's a two right angles, right? So you will actually get what? 180 degrees. How about the west? You add on another 90. Lo. 180 plus 90, 270. Right? This is the exact right one. Now, then how about Timo Lawood? Timo Lawood is half, right? Half. 90 divided by 2. How much? How many degrees? Don't know. Yeah. 90 divided by 2. 45. Be careful, huh? So, exactly. How about Tengara? 90 plus 45. You will get 135. All right? Same plus 45. You will get 225. And 350. This is the if they are perfectly in the place. If they are perfectly in Timo Laut, if they are perfectly in Tengara, Barat Daya, and Barat Laut. Okay? Can understand? Okay. Yeah. Now, but of course, this is when it's perfectly matching. Okay? But of course, as I tell you, if question give you a better, then they won't give you a perfect they, they won't give you a perfect num number sometimes. So you're going to use your uh, protractor to measure it. Okay. Can I? 
Now, let me show you with the questions, okay? Now, here, let's begin with the easier one, which is go back to this. Now, this one, right, why I say it's the easy one, because they ask, they give you a perfect angles, ma, right? So, you see, sekola. Sekola is barat laut. So, what is the direction for barat laut? If you make lazy to think, then you just write it down first. Lah. Utara is always 360, right? And then, and then, Ololo, right? Utara is zero. So, Barat Lao leh? How much? Cannot. No. You can do like this, right? If you're lazy to think, then you do like this. So, 90, 180, 270. You write down the main direction first. The main one first, right? So, the main one, Utara is what? Utara is zero or 360. Don't forget to write degrees, yeah? If you didn't write degrees, then, then by your answer will be wrong, all right? And then, Timo, you know already, ma? Tino, Timo must be 90, all right? And then, Selatan must be 180 because they are right angles, right? And then, 270. How about in between? In between, they are always different by 45 degrees. So from zero to Timo Lawood, 45. Right? Timo to Tenggara, 90 plus 45. You will get how much? Mm, come, give me your answer. Try out a little bit. No, cannot. Which one? Hmm. Correct. 135. How about Barat Daya? The rest, are you okay? Yes, 225. Then come back to my Barat Laut. You think something wrong with your audio? You can't hear me? Or what? Um, 310. Uh, yes, 350. Why got 21? Now, be, be careful, huh? Now, this kind of questions, right? No need to measure one. Why? Because they gave you a compass already. And all the direction is like your main direction, your ara matangi utama and per antara an. Okay, so means what? It's, it's, it's actually perfect and a uh, perfect number. So I mean, not, not can I say perfect number, okay? but the number is will be confirmed, will be like oh, very, very fixed one. Zero, 360. This one is 45. 45 plus 45, 90. Uh, wait, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Friend, if you cannot hear me, um, yeah, I mean, maybe there will be something wrong. The rest can hear, right? Uh, if you cannot hear me, means there was something wrong with your Zoom. Maybe you restart your device or you re-log in, okay? Because normally, sometimes, you know, Zoom have some crazy problem. Sometimes they, you know, pretty crazy. Maybe silly, right? Ah, oh, you can hear me clearly. Thank you. <clears throat> now, so here in plus 45, look, you will get 135. Plus 45, 180. Plus 45, 225. 270. 315. 360. It's always like this. If they are perfectly. Okay, they are perfect. The angle is is like just right. Uh, in Utara, Timo, Lao, Timo. Understand? Can understand everybody? And you hear okay? <clears throat> Can
Okay, na? Am I too fast to you? Okay, can I move? Now, here. Okay, let me go to the same, just uh, before before I go to that, okay, I gave you another, another type of questions. Okay, question four. Another way of asking you, okay? They say, Uku kan bearing sututan, uku, measure. Okay, berdasarkan plan sekolah menengah kebangsaan mutiara. Okay, now this one they say, well, oh, they gave you a Three seven. Bharat Laut is three seven five three one five three one five. <laughs> Cannot be three seven five, ah? Huh? Why? One complete circle is three hundred sixty only, ah? Huh? So cannot be three seven five, ah? Huh? One complete circle is three sixty only. Be careful. Okay. Now here, <clears throat> see. Like this question, they ask you to do uh, bearing sudutat, right? They ask you to do bearing sudutat. Can I? Now, so let's read the question, what they say. They say, bearing sudutat, padang dari, pondok pengawal. Pengawal, right? Dari. When you see the word dari, where's dari? From. From this area. From this area means what? This is my titik rujukat. So, how I'm going to measure now? This is the real that I need to use. Protractor already. Right? This is the real where I need to use protractor already. Okay? So, if you, if you have protractor with you, you can do with me. If you really don't have, then you look at my one first. Okay? Yeah. So, what? how I'm going to measure? We know now I need to look at padang. And pontok pengawal, right? These two things. So what I need to do? Which one is my titi rujukan? Pontok pengawal. So what I do? I need to draw a ara mata angin. Okay, I need to draw a ara mata angin. Use your ruler, okay? Draw a ara mata angin. Can I? After that, what you do? Use your ruler, connect, draw a line and connect to the padang. Okay, draw a line and connect to the padang. Can understand? After that, what we do? Put your jangka. Okay, put your jangka, uh, sudo your protractor. Can I? How you put? You put exactly on the line. Can see? Or you need me to zoom in a little bit? Can I, this is your pondo, ah. So put your protractor exactly match with the line, okay? Match with the line. Okay, match with the line, ah. After that, read. Exactly, is it? Sorry, my one, you need to adjust a little bit. Can I? Yeah, if you look at my one, my one is 101 because. Maybe my pen is too thick, all right? Uh, yeah. Supposingly, you should get exactly hundred, all right? Yeah. Mm, then, then, then maybe both of us have a thick pencil. <laughs> now, so this is an answer. <clears throat> the rest, how much you get? Yeah, ma, put like this. Or remember, always measure like how? One zero one. Okay. Clockwise, ah. Huh? Always begin. Ah, huh? make sure your zero is. At your utara that yes of course uh, 105 is cannot 101 and 100 can accept uh. your answer can only differ from your teacher by one or 0 0.1 okay for for one is one you cannot put too far away huh? how about two two one 101 you can only differ by one <laughs> you cannot differ by two like two uh, from your teachers, okay? I mean, from your school. <clears throat> your school can. Uh. Oh, your teacher okay? Really? What if there's no dot? Uh, there's no dot, then maybe your teacher will give you two, maybe um the different by two as the excuse, but depends. Uh. But this one, they already gave you the dots, right? So let's try one more, okay? Now they say, 
bearing sudutan tapak perhimpunan dari kantin. So can you tell me which one is the arah mata angin atau not? Uh, arah mata angin. Which one is the titik rujukan atau not? For part B. Tapak perhimpunan or kantin? Yes, kantin. So in the kantin area there, what we do? We draw the arah mata angin. No? And then I'm going to measure to where? Tapak perhimpunan. Draw a line to tapak perhimpunan. Now, how to measure? Remember, I always measure from what? Utara clockwise. Huh? Follow clockwise. Right? But eh, you realize, my ruler until here only. Eh. My ruler can only measure until here. How? Then you got to mark it out. This is 180. Yes, turn the ruler. Yes. Then how are, how are you going to do your ruler? Turn your ruler, put it here. Okay, put it here. You will get how much? Exactly put it here. Okay, 180. Now put it here, 90. Yeah. Okay. How much is this area? So how are you gonna read this? Uh? I put here. Sorry, my ruler a bit saying it. Now. Okay, remember how you're gonna read. You always read from zero, but you're gonna read from the bottom go up. Uh. Why? Because just now, I measure until here already, ma. So I from here measure up. Lo. So you will get how much? 100. Yeah. You will get 120. Yes, 120 here. But if you write 120, then you are wrong. Why? Because you need the whole circle, right? So your answer will be what? 180 plus 120, you get? Three hundred. Hey, why got two hundred one? Hey. Okay, I think <laughs> I if your maths is, is is pretty weak, don't doubt. I mean, don't don't stress. Just bring along your calculator. There's no rule saying that geography cannot bring calculator. No, you can bring. Just bring calculator into your geography, okay? Thank you. Don't worry. Don't bother to test your mathematics in the in the geography. Huh? Bring, just bring calculator, okay? Can, uh, because a bit dangerous if you calculate wrongly, right? Now, um, is it okay I left the, the CDE for you to try as your homework? And the answer already provided in the website. Yep. I'm going to show you another question as well. How another way. The one that without the dot. Okay. Can I? Wait. So what is the answer for B? 180 plus 120. Hundred eighty plus 120. No? You got 301. Can? Acceptable. You got a, a, a small different than acceptable. See? Like this. Right? So you're going to measure from zero up. So you're going to look at 120. A? Eh? Got it. Ah? 180 plus 120, you get 300. Got it? Okay. Great. Na na na. Ten. Okay. Okay. Am I too fast to you? No. Now, come on. I go back to the page twenty-seven. Let me show you with if the question gave you a grades like this. Okay, 
Now, so the type of question they might give you is like this. They say, Kampong Jati Dari Simpang Tiga Kampong Hala. Now, if this kind of question, bearing sututana, bearing sututana, read the question properly. Uh, a lot of students, when they look at, oh, Kampong Jati Dari Simpang Tiga Kampong Hala, they will straight away write their answer without looking that they want ara or bearing sutana. It's very a lot of people lost their marks here, huh? They want bearing sututana. So, can you tell me the titi rujukan is kampong jati or simpang tiga kampong halia? Which one, ah? Jati or halia is the titi rujukan. Halia, yes. So, let's go look at halia. Now, be careful. What is simpang jalan? Simpang tiga. Simpang tiga, which means a T junction. A T junction. So, Kampong Halia is here. Where is the T junction? The T junction is here. So, this is my Tite Rujukan. So, what you do? Same. You draw a Ara Mata Angin at the T junction. Okay? And they won't go at Kampong Jati. Oh, they're very kind. They give you a dot there. So you're going to measure. A, eh? you're going to measure. Let me go create one more protractor for that. Because my protractor is non-reusable. Non -reusable, okay? So I need to drag one more out, okay? Okay, my, 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 my projector is out. Okay. So what you do? You're going to put your projector exactly on this. Okay, so what's your answer? What answer will you get? Ah, just right. Ah, easy. Measure always from the Utara measure. 96, yes. Yes, then you just write it down. 96 degree. Okay, can understand. And the next one, let's try one more. Okay. Can I? One more. The rest are okay. Let me see, see. The rest, are you good? Y'all been quiet. Feel free to, you know, answer me a little bit. So that I know whether you are, you are, you are aligned with me or not. Right. Uh, will the different, uh, will the answer differ because T junction, some people slightly different. Yes, it might have slight, slight different because your T junction may be like, but they won't have big difference uh, because T junction is about there. Normally, one, one to two degree different. They won't be high because yeah, T junction is there already. The only T junction, right? They clear cut mention. So one to two degrees difference. Uh, okay. So can I understand? Got it, ah? Uh? Okay, then we move on. All right, let's move on, ah? Uh? Now, next one, you got 95. Uh, acceptable, yes, acceptable. Different by one is acceptable. Yeah, different by one is acceptable. No worry. It's simple. Okay. And understand, huh? Then gonna move. Next one. How far can the answer scratch? I mean, like from your school teacher, uh, I mean, from the marking scheme? Normally one to two. Don't, don't, they won't give too much. Okay. Now, next one. Gilang dan masjid. Gilang dari masjid. So, come quick. Which one is a titi rujukan? Gilang dari masjid. Gilang masjid. So the answer, 
Uh, say, answer normally 50. What if you write 54? Uh, 54 actually a bit far away already. Oh. Mm, normally 51, 52 is still acceptable. 54 a bit far away. Mm. Yeah. Normally, and normally the max I see from the marking scheme, they say it. Uh, let's say uh, the measurement is two marks each. If you get the exactly, you got two marks. If maybe like say yours one is two degrees different from the marking scheme, then they may cut, cut, become you get one mark. But 54 then are far away. This is what marking scheme say. Lah. Mm. Different by two is the max. Huh? Unless, unless there will be some uh, special special things like, you know, maybe their mistake or what, then they might still give you some marks, but not too much, right? Yeah. Mm. 97, half, lo. instead of give you two marks, I give you one mark, so 97. All right, next one. Ah. Now, so Kilang Dari Masjid, and we know Masjid is the Aramata, uh, is the Tite Rujukai. So let's find where's the Masjid. Masjid is here. So you draw Aramata Angin. Okay, after that, they say what? Kilang. Where's Kilang? Can you find Kilang? Kilang is here. Okay, so we're going to measure again. Now, here, here, here. Remember, we always measure clockwise. And actually, you no need to purposely measure the left hand, uh, the right hand side. Why? Because when they exist, this line confirm exists 180. Okay, so what you're going to do? Okay, wait, let me get my projector again. Okay. Oh, quick. So what you do? You turn and put on top. Okay. So how much? Read properly or how are you going to read it? You must from the down like that. So you were going to read the zero here. So go up. How much? 120. Ah, be careful. Ah. Yes, 300 again. Yeah. Um, this is just, just right. Okay. I didn't measure before that. So I don't know this the answer is exactly 300 again. Yes. Okay, the answer is perfectly 300 again. Right? 120. So you cannot write 120 or then you are wrong. Or you must add together. Right? So you will get 300. 300 is the exact answer. Okay. Can I? Still alive, right? Now, this is overall the two favorite question that they, two types of favorite question they like to ask in chapter one. Of course, there will be some wow questions, like small, some of the school might come out some small one, the difference one. And let me show you with that, huh? So go back to the questions, okay, of question two. Now, question two, uh, you see, other than, you know, the ARA, they might also like to ask something. They say, bagaimana untuk menentukan ARA? How? How to? Okay, how to determine a ARA? Okay, or question like this, they ask you, Bagaimana kompas berfungsi untuk membantu manusia? How kompas functions? And mengapakah jarum kompas ke arah utara? Now, I show you the question for that. Later, I show you answer. Okay, like I will tell you the answer later. I just go through it. But this is some rare question that they might ask you. They might ask. Right? Jel Jelaskan tentang kutub utara. What is kutub utara? North Pole. Okay. Or even they say what? Bagaimana mengorientasi kompas magnetik? Now, uh, this one, right? Be careful. Why? Because uh, yesterday, there's some student already finished their small test. And they uh, most of them tell me that question asked this. So your school might also ask. Right? So let's go and tell and see what's your answer. 
right? Now, actually, in your chapter one, other than bearing sototan, other than the ara, you actually learn what? You actually learn how to determine the ara. Chara menentu ara. We have two ways in your textbook. Use the matahari, use the compass. Now, how to use the matahari? First of all, you need to know uh, where is our matahari. Matahari will terbit di timo, terbrenam di barat. What you mean terbit di timo? They will rise at the east. They will fall from the barat. Okay. Now, let's go through the matahari first. Uh, because uh, one of the school also telling this. This one is what? You're going to explain to me, lo. Uh, how I determine the ara. First of all, in the morning, you must be very clear cut. You are what? During the morning or during the evening? Okay. Don't ask me why, why there's no question during the afternoon, huh? Afternoon very hard. Huh? Now, so you're going to tell me, okay, during the morning. So if I standing in front of the sunlight, means I'm facing the sunlight. Okay. Facing the sunlight, huh? facing the sunlight. So if I facing the sunlight, what happened? My in front is Timo. Okay, if me facing the sunlight, then this is Timo during the mornings. So if I open my hand like that, okay, sorry, cannot see my hand. Okay, if I open my hand, right? So your left, your left is here. Your right is here, my right, left. Right, ah, uh, just in case you don't know where's your left and right. And then you're behind. Now, if in front is Timo, my back will be what direction? Timo opposite is Barat. This is how they determine, huh? Now, and then right leg, then you ask yourself, Utara Timo, the next one is what? Selatan Barat. So, always remember clockwise, huh? So, this is Selatan. This is Utara. This is how you determine the directions. Okay, can understand? Now, then how to use compass? Like just now the question said, okay? to use compass, you need to first, of course, same. Stand in front whatever that you need to, you want to measure. Berdiri menghadap object, like the one that I show you, I highlight for you. And then make sure that your compass is put at the flat areas. Letakkan compass di permukaan yang rata. And, and far away from what? Compass must be far away from what? Metal, yes. You can see it. Okay, if you think that, wow, this sentence very long, then you can write what? Pastikan. Uh, object bersi dijauhi. Or you can say what? Tanpa sebarang object bersi yang terletak berhampiran. Okay. Uh, Why suddenly got, 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 got Han Yu Ping? Right? Okay. Yeah. Anything that metal. Okay. It can be um, not only a magnet, like it can be a lot of things. Okay. Can I, it can be a lot of things. Okay, what is this? Object magnetic. Object uh? magnetic. Uh? Normally we say iron, metal, bursi, metal object, yeah. Magnetic. Um magnetic, but but metal will be more coverage, uh, okay? more more accurate. Okay? And then okay, I found away from all the metal already. I put it at flat already. What I do? I oriental. Orientasi. What is orientasi? Adjust. You adjust your compass slowly until, until your jarum, your jarum, the jarum point at the word of you, utara. Right? Why? Because, right, the jarum will straight away point at the utara, am I right? So they point. So what you do, you switch your compass, make sure the word north, or Utara is exactly the same as your Jarum. After that, you read whatever your direction. Bacakan Arab. 
right? So this is your first step, second step, third step, fourth step. Okay, so in exam, like just now I said, yeah, yeah, the arrow is always point at the north. But you know, like when, when there's a compass, right? Inside will have north, the words, right? The word not necessary. I mean, not 100% not will be always point at that. So you need to switch on your own. Yeah. Come on. This one, right, actually is your answer for this one. Bagaimana untuk meorientasi kompas magnetic. So you're going to say it long. Pertama or like firstly. Right? So in menjauhi bersi blah blah can. Right? So pertama, no, first thing. Berdiri. Stand there. Stand in front. In front there. Stand in front. Of the object that you wish to know. A eh, eh, compass magnetic lah. Not related to the sun. If they say, uh, ask you to uh, explain how to use the sun. Why got moon one? <laughs> no moon here. Hello. I No moon here, please. But the reader had up. Object. Yang ingin di. Sorry, shouldn't write short form for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Compass magnetics means compass. The compass that we say. Uh, why in geography normally they mention compass magnetic is because in chapter one you will still learn two, three others compass. But normally if they ask you how to use the compass, then normally refers to compass magnetic. Okay, so first standing in front of the object that yang ingin so this is your first point. You tell me, stand in front. After that, put your compass. So, lapas tu. Letakkan compass. Okay, B, permukaan rata. And menjauhi. Now, menjauhi apa? Object bersih. Far away from all the iron. This is your second step already. Lo. Third step, what you do? Yes, uh, if you cannot remember the word meorientasi kan, uh, then you write lo, pusing kan, no, right? So you can say orientasi kan. Kompas. Dengan pelahan-pelahan. Okay. Slowly. Until. What? Until. Sehingga. Jaru. Menunjuk. Okay, menunjuk. Menunjuk to where? Ke utara. And the last, what you do? Last step. Read. The, read the direction, right? Akhirnya. Bacakan. Ara objective. Object. This is how you get your four marks. Is that okay? Oh my god. <laughs> I originally I thought chapter one is like quite fast. Now okay. So yeah. Part C, right? They say Jelas Tentang Kutu Utara. What is Kutu Utara? North Pole. What is North Pole? A place 
we're at the northern areas. Okay, this is a care bud for you. La. Normally, very seldom the question will ask. I mean, seldom question school will ask you unless your school teacher get the same question from the same book as me. Okay, so why is North Pole? You can say, like, oh, Kutub Utara. Merupakan bahagian bumi yang okay tolota di okay tolota di Paling Utara, most northern. This is how you get your marks. Is that okay? I think I'm going to explain a little bit times huh? because I need to ask, at least tell you until like chapter three or four. I will fast, I will do it um, pretty fast later. Shall we? Now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, bagaimana kompas berfungsi untuk membantu manusia? Actually, they are asking you what, what is the function of the compass? How they help human? How, how compass help you? What compass help you? What compass do? Compass boleh buat apa? Right? Compass is to? Yes, finding direction. This is your answer. Yes. Uh, then, then how are you going to write? So you can see, lo, compass Okay. Boli. Menentu arah dengan cepat, fast, and accurate. Tepat means accurate, okay? Mm, come here. This is also another common question. Why Jarum will point at the north? Because of the magnetic field, right? Remember? Why Jarum compass always at the north? Because of the magnetic field. All right? Magnetic field. Okay? Can I? Okay? Magnetic field. Uh. How are you going to talk about magnetic field? In a right, okay. Mm, jarum compass. How le? Di pengaruhi affected. Di pengaruhi oleh tarikan magnetic. Okay. Di dari Utara. Got it? Hmm. Let me know if you're done, huh? Then only I move on. Okay, if you're lazy to type, uh, just let me know if you're done or not. If you're done, you press 1. If not done, press 2. Easy, right? Uh, uh. Okay, huh? Hmm. The rest? Oh, okay. So, there's only three people in my class. Oh, my house set. Yes, um, yes, Hetty. Sorry, your question is you are, you have a question to ask? 
Uh, what is the word after ole? Uh, tarikan. Sorry, my handwriting very bad. I know. Tarikan. Tarikan. Mm. Mm. Tarikan means uh, tarikan. Uh, the what is that? The drag, the force. Tarik, tarikan magnetic, magnetic force, magnetic pull, magnetic. You can un understand it as magnetic field as well, lah. Okay. Yeah. Let me know if you done. Don't only we move on, ha. Huh? Hmm, done. Okay. Yeah, no. So let's move to chapter two. All right. Now for chapter two, right? Uh, I'm not going to show you the notes already. I'm going to show you, show you with questions. Okay, so can you move down? Now, here. There's a few types of questions they like to ask in chapter two. Chapter two, the first one they like to ask you about kedudukan. Relative. Re -re relative. Okay, what is kedudukan relative means you're going to tell me your location, your location, by telling me kiri kanan tepan belakang. Left, right, in front, behind. Yes. Okay. Easy, right? Yeah. Okay. So first, of course, you need to find what? You take rujukan first. Now, like this one, right? I only put one question. And this one is the one I think that you all need help. Right? If they give you some buildings to look like this. How are you going to determine the in front, behind, belakang, tepan, belakang, kiri, kanan, right? So show you with the questions, huh? They said, rumah Husin berada di jangan, jalan enggan. So Husin is as the jangan, ja, it, oh, what I'm saying, okay. Which area of jalan enggan? In front, behind, left, or right? So you're going to look at the whole lines. So Jalan Enggang is this one, right? So is that in front and behind? No. Okay, because it's, they are like this. So you can only either the left or the right. Yes. Hussein is Kanan, ya. Kanan, ya. This area is right, ya. Your right hand side, ya. Your right hand side, okay? Because you are facing the Jalan Enggang, your book is in front of you. Okay. Uh -huh. Can I? This is Kanan. Oh, sorry, your Kanan and my Kanan maybe. Yeah. We don't understand. So, you see, this is the Jalan, right? The whole street. You look at your book. You look at your book. Your book in front of you, right? So, where is your left hand side? It's very hard. Uh, wait, uh. Uh, wait. Aren't we supposed to see from the? Now, standing on, on the doorstep is when you are a building. But now you are a road. You are a jalan. And your jalan is straight. So you can only have left, right, right. So you're going you're gonna to expect this is front. This is back because this is a road. This is a jalan. In front, behind. So what what what, what side is this? This is left. This is right. Lo. Now be careful, ah, because this question they say ma, rumah kusim berada di mana jalan enggan. Enggan is the titik rujukan. So you're gonna stand at enggan, jalan enggan, not the rumah kusim. You got what I mean? Got it, uh. If 
you stand on Jalan Enggan Iskiri, you stand here. Whoa. What you mean you stand is Kiri? Okay. This is you. Where am I facing? This is you. Uh. This is in front. Uh. Okay. Because this is a straight road. Uh. So you're gonna... You are standing here. So left or right? Can understand that. Uh. So this is left or right? Yeah. That's why Ruma Hussein is Ghana. You, you, you are standing like in a normal way. Like how you look at your papers. Can understand? How I, um there is a okay. This is like a normal how you're gonna look. Normally they don't give you a road like this, okay? If they giving you like a buildings, right? If they're giving you a buildings, then your building must be facing the road. So your in front is here. Normally, your in front will be like this. And Pontok Police, you were facing the road. Okay, you were facing the road. You were facing the road. Um, yeah, 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 you need to write Sabala. Sorry. I forgot. Thanks for reminding. <clears throat> now, next one, yeah. Hospital berada di upper Pontok Polis. Okay, so let's see. Where is your Pontok Polis? Pontok Polis is here. So, Pontok Polis is a building. Building must be facing the road. Right? They're facing the road. So, road is here, Jalan Merah. So, here is in front. So hospital is what? Where is hospital? Yes, hadapan. You got it? The rush? Your building must be facing the road. <clears throat> okay. Mm, facing your road. Next one. They ask you, what is the building terletak di belakang butik Liza? Where's Liza? Liza is here. So Liza, the shop is always facing the road. So here is in front. So siapa berada di belakang? Yes, rumah Ming. Got it? The rest, are you okay? <clears throat> Next one. Ruma Andy. Teleta di mana? Ruma Damin. Where's Damin? Sorry. Oh, Damin is here. But you see, uh, the road that near Damin is here. So the in front is here. Okay. So Andy is located where? Di mana Damin. Because the road is here. You see, the name of the road is here. So you are facing here. Okay. So ND is opposite, right? In front or behind? In front. Ah, in front. Understand? Now here. Taman Rekrasi berada di mana metrology? Metrology is here. The road is where? Jalan is here. So in front is here. Okay. So where is the Taman Rekrasi? Rekrasi should be at which area? Mm, Rekrasi will be in which area? No areas. Mm. Metrology is here, right? The in front, always facing the road. So if this is in front, mana taman rekrasi, the P, which side? Kiri, yes, sebela kiri. 
Now let me let me let me let me try with you one a few more, huh? You just tell me the answer, okay? It's not in the questions. Now let's say, can you tell me um what is the building? What is the building in front masjid? Di hadapan masjid. Sekola, yes. So, um, what is Sebelah Kanan Masjid? What you have the Sebelah Kanan Masjid? Right hand side got what? Rumanik, okay. Belakang Masjid? Jalan Enggan also can be your answer. Yes, great. Balai Bomba, yes. Belakang is Bomba. Now, um... Rumah Husin di mana rumah Awin? Husin di yes di belakang Awin. Is it better understanding? Yes ah, huh? okay ah. Huh? Now I'm gonna try another one. Now this one. This one, uh, we call it kedudukan, okay? Now, you actually learn the earth, we split them with some lines, okay? Easy for you to know or to tell somebody where is your locations. So, we have the horizontal line. Right? And the horizontal line named as what? Named as latitude. Horizontal line, latitude. And we have the vertical line. We call it latitude. Okay. Latitude. Uh, latitude is vertical lines. Okay. Can I? Uh, now let me go through with you the name quickly. We have five of the line that with name, come with name, which is what? 20, 3, 1 over 2, 66, 1 over 2, 66, 1 over 2. Hey, sorry. 66 is below. 23, 1 over 2. This is the number, okay? Now, these five lines, they come with name. What is their name? So the middle one, from 0 degree, we call it Katulistiwa, the equator. Okay, Katulistiwa, equator. Equator is to split your earth into north hemisphere. And the South Hemisphere. Okay, the North and the South. Now, how about the line above? You have what? You have Garrison, Satan, Garrison, Arctic, right? Katulisiwa, Daule, Jadi, and Antarctic. Okay, how you remember this? I'm a very, very uh, normal way. Okay, do you know there's a subject called ASK? Yes, huh? You know TTC provide uh, tuitions? Yes, your tuition is always what? Geography bind with RBT, right? Or geography buying with ASK, right? Right? Your when you pay your tuition fees? Yes. So you can remember like this. See, uh, when you sign up geography, you were actually what? ASK Jadi A. Okay, I know very bad about. Hi. So if you're taking ASK, so must sign up geography in TTC. So you get your ASK class on the Saturday. Then you will get a. Sorry, okay, me, me, I know, I know, I know, a bit boring, but come, sorry, <laughs> come back here. Just forget about what I say. <clears throat> this is how I remember, huh? Up to you, up to you. If you feel that there, then no need, okay. Come back here. Let's move on. How about the longitude? I'm gonna change the color. 
Now, this is what longitude ma. Longitude got two lines that we learn. Zero degree and the behind. Behind is what? 100 degree. 180 degrees. That's name one. Ah. The name is what? The zero degree called Garisan Meridian Pangkau. To split what? So it's just me or do you? No, I didn't turn on. I, I, I didn't turn off my camera. My camera is always here. Split into Timo and Barat. Oh. Uh, then, then, then maybe some wrong, something wrong with your camera. But you can see the screen, right? Uh, yeah, then that should be okay. My face is okay. You don't see my face, then it's okay. <laughs> my face not important. Important is the screen. Okay. Hmm. So how about behind 180? We call it Garisan. Tarik antara bangsa. Okay, antara bangsa, they split the dead. So they memisahkan masa, they memisahkan tarik. Okay, now don't worry. Uh, if, you, if you feel that, ah, teacher, why your handwriting so ugly? Uh, don't worry. In front of the short notes, they got the complete pictures. Okay, no worry. Huh? Now, this is the first one. They would like to ask you to tell them the name. All right. Second is they like to give you a earth or give you a map. They ask you to find out the kedudukan for me, the numbers, the location, the coordinates for me. Okay. How to find the coordinates? Have you learned coordinate before? Now, be careful, huh? In here, a little bit difference is what? You're going to look at the latitude first. After that, look at longitude and place them together. And then you will actually get your kedudukan. Give you an example, huh? Let's say P. Where is P? P is here. Always look at the horizontal first. After that, only look at the bottom. So, you see, what is their... Yes, side by side. Hmm. Yeah, together. Side by side. Yes, side by side. Right? So, latitude is how much? 80. You write down lot 80. Utara. Lat, lat, so, la, la, latitude. Latitude is 80. Longitude is how much? Zero or, or write down lot zero. Then, how they come out your kedudukan? 80, comma, zero. Like that. You will get your kedudukan. Is that okay? Can I try one more? Q. Can you tell me Q latitude is how much? Q, look at the horizontal first. So how much is it? You get six. Yes. And then look at the vertical. You get 55B. All right, add together, put together, your kedudukan will be like this. Is that okay? Can I? Is it easy? Yeah. So, can you try the rest as yourself? This is your homework. Do it on your own. All right. Now, I, I need to move on a little bit more to chapter three. A little bit more to chapter three. Can Um, don't put comma. But your textbook got comma one more. Okay, follow your teachers. Mm, follow your teacher. If your teacher said no comma, then don't put comma. Follow your teachers. Yeah. Yeah. Because normally they have commas, but. If your teacher say no comma, follow up, follow up, follow up. Just follow. Not mine, not two. Hmm? Don't, don't, don't. Then don't put. If your teacher say no, then don't put. Hmm. Yeah, because some of the book, they, they have one. 
even in real life also we have we have common like that. So no worry. If your school teacher say no, then don't. Okay. So is that okay? Can I? We gotta go a little bit more for for chapter three. Just a very quick things. Shall we move on? Before I move on, any questions? No questions? Okay. Okay. Can to move? This one also you can try, but this one only not write down the name of the city. All right. Now, the multiple choice, you can do it on your own. Now, I'm going to show you this one. This one is like, uh, yeah, perfectly like telling you what chapter three going to ask. They might give you a printer. Chapter three is printer. Actually, they are trying to tell you what is a printer, right? Now, so normally they will ask you, chiri chiri butter. Uh, a complete butter, what I should have? You should have five things. Uh, you should have five things. One is this one. The first thing you need to have is the title, tajo. So Zach means tajo. Okay, chiri chiri ya, chiri chiri ya. A characteristic of the butter. Second, before I draw a butter, I need to draw a box. I need to draw a frame. And the frame name as Bermuda. Okay, after that, I need to draw the third one. Here they didn't ask you, but I circle for you, huh? This is what? Aramata Angin. When I have a graph, I have a butter, I must have this. Okay. After that, I start to draw my butter. So how I draw? I'm gonna use symbol okay i will draw all the thing rep uh, using symbol i will use symbol to represent all kind of characteristics like road uh masjid sungai i will use symbol so but i use symbol already but not everybody can answer, understand my drawing mama so i need some explanation right so we have petunjuk Got it? This is the chiri chiri button. <clears throat> Understand? For this? Got it. Uh. Two minutes, right? There's the ah, finish. Uh. This is the first thing. The rest are okay, still alive, right? Are you physically and mentally with me? I mean, in front of the computers. <laughs> yes, uh, physically and mentally in front of the computer with me. Huh? Thank you. <laughs> mentally, uh, don't, 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 don't. <laughs> physically here. How about mentally? What's your mentally? Where's your spirit go? Come back here, huh? A little bit more, a little bit more. I swear after this question, I'm going to let you go. <laughs> I swear after C and D, I will let you go. Okay, I, I swear, I swear. I swear, okay. I swear, how to swear? Okay, I swear, okay. So come back here. Now, next one. They say, berikan journey symbol. Be careful, uh, journey symbol. The type of symbol. How many types of symbol we have? We have four types. We have symbol garisan, the lines. Symbol kawasan. You still have another. Uh, sejarah, is it? Yes. Don't worry, uh, sejarah is 4.30. Very quick, very quick, very quick. I finished these two very fast. Super fast. Garisan, kawasan. Singkatan perkataan. Short form. And detail. Okay, so I'm gonna use short, short form for you, okay? I'm gonna write uh, beside the symbol. G stands for Garisan. K stands for Kawasan. SP stands for Singkatan Perkataan. And T, okay? Now, let's look here. Contour. Contour is very big areas. 
That's why they are kawasan. And yet, what is this? Oh, and yet, and yet, yet, uh, konto is something that natural. So we call it chiri physical. Physical means natural, huh? Now, as that sungai, sungai is in a line, all right? So we call it garisan. Same is a physical, come from nature. Okay, column. Column is a? Column is what? Column is a pond. Pond is a? <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> pond is a kawasan. Okay. Pond is also physical, come from nature. Jalan, garisan. Okay. Pertempatan means housing area is a titik. Masjid is a titik. And these three are budaya, human made, man made. Okay. Champatan, garisan. Okay. Kelapa sabi, kawasan. Sekolah, singkatan perkataan. Okay. Basically, sekolah, hospital, balai, polis, and pejabat post. All these are singkatan perkataan. Okay. Singkatan perkataan. Right. And all of these are budaya. What you mean budaya? Man-made. Okay? Man-made. So physical is what? Nature. Come from nature. Naturally that. What budaya? Buatan manusia. Made by human. Human-made. Man-made. Understand? Can. So this is commonly, if they want to ask you chapter 3, they will come out like this. So, still alive, understood, good. So far, any questions? No? Okay. So, yeah. If no questions, shall we stop here? Sure, okay. So, if no question, then I think I will stop here. Okay. Um, if, if, uh, wait, uh, give me a, 